We're kind of giggling today, so watch out. But we're going to talk about serious stuff. But we can't stop laughing. I don't no, know No, well, we're just in a good mood. But yesterday wasn't a good mood. It was thoughtful. It was Wear Purple Day to support everyone. You know, let's end gay bullying. Let's Gender just versus <laughs> sex roles. It is such an issue in this country. I think it's worse now than it was in the 70s. Much, it's much worse. Absolutely. Now, what is that about? Why does it, it's so upsetting. Why is a gay lifestyle we've had so upsetting? A, we've had a run of a resurgence of Christian thought. What does that mean, though? Well, it's supposed to mean be, you know, loving and love your neighbor and forgiveness and all of that, but it's turned into hate anyone who is different than you. If you are attracted to someone and you fall in love with someone, you're not going to be with them because someone well, else is uncomfortable with that decision. <laughs> in the se- no, well, in the seventies, we a lot of us were have. I was having sex because I was curious. I think both sexes should have to have sex within and outside their sex. Like you should totally. just have to totally. to understand. Oh, we'll make it a law. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> I mean, make, we're going to make the sexual laws that you must follow. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have sex with a woman and a man. And and her no, first, first with yourself, <laughs> then with the opposite sex, or then with your same sex. Now, listen, people. I think are, same sex first because you have more opportunity when you're young and you're a teen. Like Gavin Rosedale came out when he was 15 to like 21. He had a gay. Well, and the college girls are saying, you know, uh, the, they're you know gay until graduation. Of course, I, that's when I was gay. A lot of young girls use it. It's more comfortable and it's not as threatening. And, and you're not going to get pregnant. There it is. So no team moms. There it is. My first kiss was with my girlfriend. I mean, we wanted to practice kissing before we kissed oh, a boy. Oh, we always practice. Yeah, we were course. practicing penetration when we were in yes in inner. In, what was it? Seventh and eighth grade. We all know about your jump rope. Oh, that's childhood. <laughs> <laughs> what did you use to penetrate when you were in seventh and eighth grade? Fingers? Our fingers. Yes. We, what we did is we we put cotton around them. We put a layer of cotton around them, and then we a took cotton. Cotton. <laughs> he made a little dildo finger, <laughs> and then we took thread and and wrapped thread around thread around it, and then we smeared it with with Vaseline. Oh, that's nice. That's thoughtful. I thought it was very. At that age, you should have known you were going to go into a sexology. <laughs> that I was point. going to become an expert. It's amazing, and it was fascinating, and it was it was as much medical and exploratory as it was sexual and you know and it would just you were transfixed the playing doctor oh it's the best in the 70s and i mean 80s too we talked about sex roles more about behavior exactly. than a, and then than being identified by your genitals which is what gender is and it's only male female even though one out of every 2000 births is intersex which means they have ambiguous genitals they're not a boy or a girl they're or kind they of in the both. middle they can have both or ambiguous that's the same number of people that are born with red hair that's a significant proportion yes i i've seen a lot of redheads in my lifetime many right? many so we have to acknowledge that and include that within our culture it's not just pink and blue oh it never it has been it never has been it's very interesting if you have just a slight experience of either role. Like when I cross-dressed and I was sneered at and called faggot, or when I was a butch, a butch dyke, and I was sneered at and called, you know, pig or disgusting or, you know. Except your girlfriend who was like, who is that cute guy? I want to have sex with him. <laughs> yes, that was a very, very warm moment. But if you have experienced that, I've experienced that on the street. It's terrible. It's terrible. The hatred that comes out when they target you, you know. I am a little faggot. And I had a little short blonde hair and I was just and with my boots. I was, it can make people kill themselves and commit suicide if you get that all day long, all the time. You know, and, and that's ridiculous terrible. that we live in a culture it's like terrible, that. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And so I say that more of us need to kind of loosen up and experience, you know, is that concept of walking walk in somebody's shoes. You, you get it fast. You get the picture fast. So no more gay bashing or hatred. And, I mean, we can't stop it, but we certainly can model another way of behaving.